so I just got done doing my first run in the snow. And when I mean snow, I mean like a decent amount of snow. And in this video, I'll tell you exactly all the gear that I'm wearing and kind of some tips on how to run for the snow. I did uh, approximately you know 3.12 miles, so I did a 5K. Felt really good. So I'll go over some tips and tricks and uh, we'll go from there. See ya. So here is all of the gear laid out on the bed um, that I wear, at least during the winter. So what I have here is I have a down jacket by Eddie Bauer. You know, I, I don't know exactly what this means, this, this figure, this EB650. This thing keeps me super warm. It's, it's relatively lightweight as well. I do like how it has the zippers. You know, the, the only issue that I could think of is I overheat a lot, so I get really warm. But other than that, it keeps me warm. It, it, it does its job. Next, we have a pair of running shorts, which, you know, I just stand running shorts. I have these leggings, um, these thermal leggings, 32 degree heat, whatever, whatever that's, that's the brand. Um, lightweight, I'm a size small just because my, you know, my, my pant size is, you know, 28 to 30. So I, that's exactly what it's for. Then I have this headlamp, this Duracell headlamp. So the thing I like about this bad boy is it has two buttons. I don't know if you can see right there, right? So this one is for the side, I believe. So look at that. I mean, you could just tell how bright this thing is. It is, you know, 310, right? You could see from outside, I got my little heating pad thing there, but you know, it's, it's bright as heck outside and look how bright this thing is. In addition to that, you also have the main light and there's a few different settings. So let me, let me, well, I'll leave this, I'll turn it off right now. But right now you can click on this main light. So that's, that's the bright one. So that's the, that's the setting that I typically have it on. Click it a second time. Um, just this little side light pops up. This main one comes up the third click, fourth click. It's red. I don't know why you, uh, you know, I could see the need to have red. You know, if it was kind of like a warning thing, or I mean, it's, it's, you, know, you can really see it because look how bright this thing is. It is scorching. And then you click it again and it goes off. So those are the four settings, you know, these two, the one, the big one, the red off. So how I typically have it when I'm, when it's on my head, is I'll have this, I'll have the, the sides. So the, you know, the three sides here, and I'll have this. So this thing is super, super bright. And, you know, earlier when I, when I had it, when I, you know, earlier in the video, I had it in my hand because um, now I have gloves. So I'm super, super cheap. And I had a pair of socks on my hands um, when, I, when I ran and when it was cold outside, but now I actually have gloves, right? Trust me, I'm, I'm really, really cheap. But anyways, that's besides the point. So I have these, uh, the brand is called Head. So have these gloves it has the you know the the touch capability so i can touch my phone i can touch the apple watch and, and make any changes need to without needing to take these off has these little clips i typically lose gloves anyway but um i've had it for a week now and i plan on having it forever hopefully so this is from costco so so all the, you know these these four things actually are from costco but so we have the jacket, so we have the clothing that I wear, the headlamp, the two the, the two pairs of gloves, you know, the pair of gloves that I have. Um, I, I went a size up. Uh, I think I think these are medium. I have pretty small hands, so these fit just perfectly. Uh, but what happens, you know, when I do run, when I get cold, my my hands kind of shrink up, and these fit a little big, but it's fine. It's whatever. Then I have this head cover. So this the brand for this is called Bula. Um, it's pretty lightweight. It's the first time I've worn any sort of complete covering like this, where it's my head and then the scarf. Um, what I had before was I had this, uh, you know, cotton beanie, you know, that, that uh, regular type of beanie, and I would wear a face mask. So this kind of, you know, leaves you to have one option instead of, instead of having two separate things. And the issue when I'd be running um, with a regular beanie is it would get soaking wet. So this kind of has this anti 
you know, moisture repellent sort of sort of thing on here. So that's that's really nice. Now, this I think this is probably one of the most important safety items, besides of course the super bright headlamp, ice cleats. So these, the brand for this is called Snow Tracks, and I don't know if you could tell. There's just one little metal pin that's sticking out. Let me see if you can. Right, so one little pin, but there are, a f you know, there are, how many are there? Two, four, five, there's six, right? There's six pins all together. And the way it hooks on, it's nice. So you get your regular tennis shoe, you slide it in. So this is the heel of my foot, is, is my palm. It wraps around, this wraps around the, the top of the foot. And then you have an additional strap here. So when you put your shoe on here, and, and I'll, I'll put on my gear in a second, because I'm about to, I'm about to go for a run but it wraps around and then you can also have this nice little Velcro strap, put it in and it'll, it'll fit on nice and snug. So, you know, the run um, at, at the beginning of the video, the run that I had, I had these on. First time I had it on, my pace was super, super slow. It was like 10 minute mile per pace because um, I just wanted to test it. It was the first really, you know, kind of big snowfall that hit, but it was it's still pretty slick out there. And I think it's even more slick um, right now, today's Tuesday. So, yeah, these these things will definitely be a lifesaver. So I'm gonna put all the gear on, and uh, you know, I'll show you how I look, all geared up, and uh, I'm gonna hit this afternoon run. So here is the complete setup. Uh, besides the plant, right? Got got my dog socks, got the leggings on, got the shorts, got the gloves. Got the, you know, the lights. Uh, you know, got whatever the space. I know there's a specific name for this thing. Um, all I don't have on right now are the shoes, right? So I'll put that on. I'm, I'm playing around with different shoes just because uh, it was really wet uh, last time I went for a run. But this is the setup. So this thing keeps me nice and warm. Uh, I haven't, the coldest I've run in, well, the only time I ran with all this gear was uh, yesterday, which was Monday. And, uh, you know, it, it was it was like 30, like it wasn't super cold. Uh, so you know, I have yet to test this in a real world application where it's under 20 degrees, but I look forward to that test. So this is the gear, this is the setup. Um, I know I look kind of kind of wonky and funny, but it's what's keeping me warm and uh, I'll make sure to make some alterations to it. But I mean, you know, in essence, just to stay safe, um, stay warm, especially during the winter. The last thing you want to do is injure yourself. So take your time, take your, you know, go, go at a, a pace to where if you do fall, it's not super bad. So that's it. That's my winter gear. And uh, be safe when you get your cardio in uh, during the winter.